In this video, we'll be showing you how to send data from Microsoft SQL Server to Google Sheets. Let's dive in. So we're starting off this video inside of SQL Server, and you can see the query that we're going to turn into a CSV to then send over into Google Sheets. You can see it's just this little simple sample table we created with two rows here. Um, so let's jump over into Shipyard and show how we can do this process. So inside of Shipyard, we're going to search for our Microsoft SQL Server blueprints, and you can see we have a store query results as CSV. I'm going to click that, which is going to pop up and give you the opportunity to look at our authorization guide that kind of shows you the steps on how to get the inputs that I'm going to put in in just a moment. I'm going to close that for right now. Um, and then I'm going to name my vessel store query results as CSV there. Um, and then I just need to go through and put, uh, put in my inputs uh, for my authorization. So my host, uh, my username, I'm going to grab my password. Uh, my database, which is test DB, and then just that query, which was again that select star from the dbo.inventory table. Um, and you'll see down here we need to we need to give a file name. So this file name uh, isn't that important in our example, but if you're working in production and have multiple files being downloaded in one, inside of one fleet, it's important to be specific if you're in that one situation. But I'll leave it for out as output.csv for this example. Um, you can see for each vessel we can set up email notifications for any errors or for a completion of an on-demand run. Um, as well as set up guardrails for the number of retries, uh, time between retries and runtime cutoff as well. Um, so it looks like this vessel is good to go. So this is going to grab that query as a CSV from SQL Server. Um, so now we need to set up our Google Sheets uh, blueprint. Um, so I'm going to search for Google Sheets. And you can see we have upload CSV to Sheets. So I can click that, which again is going to pop up that authorization guide. I'm going to close that. Um, I'm going to upload CSV to Sheets for the vessel name. Um, I'm going to pull that up there next to it. Um, so we need our Google spreadsheet name. Um, and you can see we're going to work with this YouTube video example uh, table. So YouTube video example. Um, I'm just going to keep it on the default tab. You can change that and make it you know, as specific as you want with the tabs and the sheets. Uh, I can leave shared drive name uh, empty because I don't have it's not it's in my personal drive not the shared drive. Uh, my local file name output.csv. So it's important that the file name from the first vessel and this vessel match so that Shipyard can find them and, uh, and set them up. Um, you can set up starting cell if you would like. And then service accounts. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste my service accounts in there. Um, so that's all, we can, that's all we need for our Google Sheets uh, vessel to be set up. I can connect these together. Um, and so the last thing I need to do before I can save this and run it is name my fleet. So I can name this Microsoft SQL Server. Google Sheets, and then I can click Save and Finish. So whenever I click Save and Finish, it's going to take us to a page telling us the fleet has been created successfully, as you can see here. Um, and I can click Run Your Fleet. And so when I do that, it's going to tell us the fleet has been successfully scheduled to run immediately. So this is kicking off what we call in Shipyard an on-demand run. Um, there's also two other ways to kick off a fleet run inside of Shipyard. There is the triggers here. Um, so that we have a scheduling trigger that you can schedule based off of time. And then we have an API trigger where you can programmatically kick off a fleet with any software that you would like. Uh, so you can see that this took us over into our fleet log page, which is, has some uh, some information up on the top, as well as a Gantt chart showing our vessel runs and a table down here on the bottom. Uh, you can see that our first vessel has already has already kicked off and has already completed since it turned green. I can click inside of the Gantt chart to show uh, that the Python output from the uh, from the vessel run. So all the inputs that we put in for this vessel, as well as it telling us that the output.csv was successfully created. Um, I can go back into the uh, into the fleet log, and you can see that the second vessel to upload the CSV to Sheets is also complete. So now I should be able to go to my Google Sheets, and you can see there is that data that we saw earlier um, inside of our SQL Server instance, now inside of Google Sheets. Um, so inside this, in, in this video, we talked about how we can take a query from Microsoft SQL Server turn that into a CSV inside a shipyard and then send that to a Google Sheet. If you have any questions about this solution or any other potential solution, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. You can go to shipyardapp.com to start building powerful workflows just like this for free. Want to see us tackle more solutions? Check out these related videos.